Hello, my awesome third grade artist. My name is Miss Tracy, and you probably remember me from last year. We are going to be having these fun videos when you come to art class, and I'll make them and help you understand these projects, and then your teacher will be there in the class to help you with your projects. So I cannot wait for this year to get started. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. So our first project is going to be these adobe houses, and they are going to be made using oil pastels. So this is one that I created, and we're also going to be looking at the art of a lady named Jenny Willigrod. She's an artist who does artwork very similar to this. So before we start, let's talk a little bit about Jenny Willigrod. I'm going to show you a couple of her pieces of artwork. Okay, this is the first one. And you see, this is an adobe building, um, and she's done this using chalk pastel. So we're gonna use oil, but she uses chalk. The oils pastels are a little less messy. And Jenny Willigrod lives in the southwestern part of the United States. So this is where, this is a map of the United States of America. We live here in Mississippi. We live up here in Northeast Mississippi. And the southwest portion of the country is over here. And then it's right right near Mexico. And so her, the artwork of this area is very much influenced by the Mexican culture. And so Jenny Willigrod says about her artwork, she says, my artwork has been labeled Southwest Whimsical as I love bright, bold colors and my subjects are images from scenes of the Southwest in Mexico. I am inspired by bursts of colors in our harsh desert landscapes, such as in the brilliance of a bright <clears throat> pink cactus blossom or a shimmering adobe wall under the desert moonlight sky. So you see here, this is an adobe building, and those are buildings that are basically made out of mud that hardens up. And so lots of uh, buildings and homes in that area of the country are made out of this material. And the medium that I choose to work in, she says, is chalk pastel. So a medium is just whatever the material is that you use to do your art. The chalks allow me to achieve the bright pigments with beautiful blends and free flowing combinations of color, she goes on to say. So you can see here that her artwork is very colorful. Let me show you another one. So this is another building, another adobe structure. And in her artwork, she creates the plants that you would see in this area, lots of cacti. Um, in the desert area, there's not as much grass as we have. So you'll see lots of areas of just dirt. And then there may be a few cacti or bushes kind of put in there. And then there are also mountains in parts of these areas. So she includes that. This looks like a nighttime um, piece with the moon coming out in the dark blue sky. And this one is called Mi Casa Es Su Casa, which means my house is your house. All right, so I'm gonna go back and look at mine, the one that I created using chalk pastels, I mean oil pastels. And you see I have put um, areas where you see would see sand or dirt because this is in the desert, but there may be a few places of grass that I've included here. I've put a cactus and some bushes, my adobe house, and then mountains in the back with the sun and the sunset. So I ins normally I would do a drawing tutorial, but on this one, I really want you to think about what kind of Adobe house you want to use. So I'm going to let you use your imaginations a little bit more on this instead of following me alone and drawing because I want you to use, uh, you know, create your own unique piece of artwork. So I'm gonna include some examples for your teachers to use and they can put them on the Elmo and you can see and draw from those examples, but I want everyone's to look different. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and what you will do is you'll be given a piece of black. Let me move this so you can really see. You'll be given a piece of black construction paper, turn it horizontally with the long side facing you and on the back of it, write your name, your teacher's name, your grade and your school. Flip it over and then you're gonna use a white colored pencil to do all of your drawing because it will show up on this dark paper. You could also use yellow, something very pale and light that will show up because all that's gonna be colored over with your oil pastels. 
and just draw your landscape. I want you to think about your horizon line. Okay, this is my horizon line. That's where the ground and the area behind it meet. Okay, so all of this is the, the ground, the desert, and then behind it are mountains in the sky. We're also gonna think about something called background, middle ground, and foreground. So the background is the very back part of your artwork, the farthest away from you. So this would be, in this one, let me show you it colored, the sun and the, the sky back here is, is a sunset. That's the background. And also these mountains, you see all that's in the back. So all of this part here overlaps. In the middle ground, we have our cactus and our adobe house, sort of in the middle, you see. And in the foreground, the very front, we have this area of grass. So on yours, I want you to think about a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. All right, so get your, uh, um, you'll take a whole, probably a whole class period to draw your landscape. And then your teacher will give you these oil pastels. So you're gonna be using this set of oil pastels. There's lots of colors in here. So you'll have a wide variety of colors. And they're a little bit smaller than what the younger grades use because you'll be doing a little bit more detail than them, okay? So the most important thing when you are coloring your, with your oil pastels is to layer the colors. So I'm gonna start by doing my cactus, okay? I'm just gonna color one part of this and kind of show you how to do it. So I'm going to start with a green. There's, you'll see in your box, there's several greens and when it gets low, you can pe peel some of the paper off. But I'm just going to start kind of loosely coloring in on my cactus. And with oil pastels, they don't have to be as perfect as, as if you were coloring with a crayon. So I'm just kind of starting out with this middle, middle range shade of green, because you have some that are darker and some that are lighter. Okay, color that in. And then I'm gonna find a lighter green, this kind of lime green color, and I'm gonna start going in over it. See how it blends really nicely. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to be as perfect. It's okay if you see your different strokes of color on here. That's what makes oil pastels so unique. And then I might go in with a darker green around the edges. So you kind of decide how you want to color yours. So I'm gonna put a darker green around the edges. And then you'll get these little pieces that crumble off. You can just blow them or gently wipe them. If your oil pastels get dirty from picking up other colors, you just take a paper towel and it will wipe right off. Okay, also your fingers may get a little messy. You can use a paper towel or your teacher will have some wet wipes that you can use to clean your fingers. All right, I'm gonna go in with that dark again, I think I'm gonna take this bluish, this dark, here's an even darker one. It's kind of a dark bluish green color and I'm gonna make some stripes on my cactus. See how I can just go right in there and do that? And then it goes this way. And then I'm gonna put some highlights using my white. Always add your highlights at the end. So I'm just gonna kinda highlight some stripes Look how good that shows up. Always do your highlights at the end, okay? Because they'll really show up. Now look how that really popped when I added that. Now remember, see I got green on there and then the next person might not want green mixed in, so you wipe that off with your paper towel, it cleans up really well. So you will color your entire um, landscape with all the colors. Try not to use too much black yet because that will mix in with your colors and kind of muddle your colors. So really try to just use bright, vibrant colors on all of this. Let me go back to my one that's completely finished. So see where I've used my colors? Look where around my sunset I blended. 
I started with some dark reddish orange colors and I lightened it up with some light yellows and pinks in there. Every single one of these shapes that I've created, I've blended colors. I've not used just one, I've used color on top of color. Try to stay with colors that are in the same color family, such as warm and cool colors. So like if you're doing these blue uh, mountains, try to stay just with cool colors because sometimes when warm and cool colors mix, they don't mix well and they create a muddy looking color. So if you want vibrant bright colors, stay in your same color family, okay? The very last step when you are completely finished will be to go back and outline all of your lines with black. This is a very important step. It will really make your art stand out. It'll really make it pop. So you'll find your black oil pastel. You'll go back with these very dark black lines. And when I do them, see, I've got a little piece of a black here, but I just really kind of press down hard and color those lines in and make them good and dark. Try to be very careful with where you put your hand because if you, rest your hand on your paper, you will smudge things. So try to hold your hand in the air when you're doing this so you're not smudging your paper with your hand, okay? I cannot wait to see what you're gonna do with these. I know they're gonna look awesome and you're gonna be creative and everyone's will be different and unique. And I hope you enjoy this project and I will see you next time. Bye.